Honey, can you hear? Got me? Yeah, yeah sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Matthias, you have a win over Bruno, a Nick Subramanian fight book MMA. Do you take confidence from your victory last year? Uh, yeah. I always got a confidence when I, when I have fight. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter if I, it's the second fight or first fight, I don't care. I always got confident for the fight. Awesome. And one more question for me. You were in the finals last year and you had a couple of pretty good fights last year. What experiences and what lessons did you take from your experience last year? And how do you think your performances last year will make you a better fighter in 2023? So last year was everything new for me. You know, uh, my first season, my first year doing all my fights outside of Brazil. And I think I did a good job, but I want more, you know. Uh, I got the, the finals last year, but uh, I didn't win. So I was very angry, you know. I, I, I did some changes, you know, in my training camp. And yeah, um, I'm feeling better now, you know. Uh, I know how things work here in PFL now. Uh, I like the season. I like the format of the tournament. I like everything, and I'm feeling home here. Awesome, man. Good luck on Friday. Thank you. Patrick. Okay, Matus, this is Pedro McCord from Combat Sports UK. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, sir. Are you? I'm doing very well. You know, you lost in the final last year, but is there motivation knowing that you were able to get to the final and, you know, the experience of being in the playoffs and going through the full regular season? Do you think that gives you an advantage against other fighters? Uh, I don't know if it's a, a advantage, you know. Uh, as I said, I, I, I think I'm a... I know how the things work now here in PFL. You know, I know how the season work. I have two fights to get in the, the playoffs. And then I need to win in playoffs, you know. So my advantage, I think, just for the guys who is the first time here in PFL. Great to hear, man. And last one from me. Uh, do you have any confidence with having beat your opponent for this Saturday already? And do you have the same game plan in mind? And do you... And sorry, this is like a three-point question. And um, do you, do you expect him to have any new tools going into this rematch? So uh, I have confidence in all my fights. If I wasn't confident, I uh, probably I should I, I should stop to fight. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter where. Uh, I'm ready to all of these heavyweights here in PFL. Uh, I think the fight's gonna be like the first one. You know, I think Bruno will come with a lot of angry and I'm a pissed off too, you know, and this is my, my, my fifth fight here in PFL and fifth of this, in five, in four of this fifth fight is against a champion or a former champion. So I think I'm proved to everybody that I deserve to be here. You know, I, I, I think I don't need proof to anybody. And this is my second year here. And I don't care, brother. I don't care about Bruno. I don't care about his strategy. Uh, when the door closed, we're gonna make a, a huge war. And this is my promise for the for the MMA fans. Great to hear, man, and good luck. Thanks, Shoshan. Hey, Jose Montesino from Lucha Libre Online. How are you? I'm good. Are you? Good, good. Thank you for asking. So, in the last fight against Bruno, we saw how your kickboxing did an amazing job. Um, he was um, taking all the leg kicks. Rewatching that fight, which areas do you think it was like the perfect um, stone to make that fight um, a win? I, uh, I beat Bruno in his best. You know, I beat Bruno in his striking. You know, he's very dangerous striking. He was the champion in 2021. And yeah, I beat him on his best. Uh, I trained in white time kickboxing in my city since I was 12 years. And I'm really good too. You know, I know how kick, I know how boxing, uh, I know how striking. And yeah, it's going to be a war. <laughs> Thank you. Jonathan. Hey, Mateos. Uh, appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Now, 
in in sports, you know, every great athletes, they like to add a new tool or sharpen their tools in the off season. What did you feel like you were able to add or maybe sharpen during the time off to make yourself better this season? Uh, I think I did. I I, I had to, to make this. I did the same things, you know, but uh, I put I put my mind in and in, in lift weight. You know, because last year was my first year in heavyweight division, so I tried to change my my my, my body. You know, more stronger, and I think I did it. So you will see a, a a new Mateus in, in this fight. You know, stronger, uh, heavy, faster, uh, all the good qualities of light heavyweight in heavyweight division. Now, when it comes to your lifting, were you focusing mostly on strength or more your explosive style training? The both. The both things, you know. I, I need to be strained and explosive. And and without loss my speed, you know, I think I'm I have a good speed, a good speed. If you see the 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 numbers of the the playoffs, I I I I had a, the faster uh punch in the the in the in that day. With the welterweights, I was the faster, and now now I'm stronger. I did awesome. things that I never did in my life. Appreciate your time, my man, and good luck in your next fight. Thanks, uh, Lorenzo. Hi, Mateus. It's good to talk to you. Um, you mentioned earlier that uh, last year was the first time where you fought all of your fights outside of Brazil. Now that you had that first full season in the PFL and had a lot of success, really, how can you compare your experience when you're prepping for a fight in Brazil versus out of Brazil now that you've had a few outside? Uh, uh, I think I was prepared all my career, all my life, all my training sessions to fight here, you know, outside of Brazil. Fighting in Brazil is really tough, you know. We have a really good opponents. We have a really good uh, uh, train there, but we don't win money fight there in Brazil. Uh, I think we we need more more mentally preparation, and, our, and this is tough because you are leaving your country to fight outside. You know, you travel the world to fighting. And this is the difference, you know. In Brazil, you don't you don't win money to fight. You fight for for your dream. You fight for for opportunity to fight outside. You know, it's opportunity to win your money fight. And this is why I'm here. You know, I'm I'm a dreamer, and I'm living my dream being here. Thank you, Mateus. I appreciate the insight. I can't wait to see you in 2023. Thanks. Any other questions, guys? Anything else for Chef?